Welcome to the CSIT edX Parts online forum. In this short video, I will show you how to write good pseudocodes. So I will demonstrate it with a, a very small, small pseudocode. For instance, <coughs> I will show you how to find averages uh, of three numbers. Like for instance, if you are given num underscore one, num underscore two, num underscore three, so then I will show you how to find average and how to find uh, max max of these uh, three numbers and how to find minimum of these three numbers. So please give attention to, to this uh, demonstration. And I believe if you understand this, then you will be able to find uh, uh, average of any uh, numbers, any set of numbers. Okay or uh, find the max of uh, any set of numbers like if you are asked to find to find average of five numbers ten numbers you will be able to do that okay so as i mentioned in one of my previous videos that on these videos how to write pseudocodes how to write pseudocodes and then uh, please watch this video first in, in order to get basic uh, understanding of uh, how to write pseudocode and especially go through the kenesa.edu first year experience page and see there are some uh, good guidelines of pseudocodes how to write pseudocodes uh, so please go through this page before you uh, if you don't understand this video okay so let's get started for instance here we are given three numbers we are asked to read three numbers for instance number one number two num underscore one num underscore two num underscore three these are the name of our variable. I could give different name like number one or uh, number two, number three or num one, num two, num three instead of using underscore. Okay. So this is a way to write a pseudocode here. So initially I will assign, I will, I will need a total variable. Uh, okay. So that initially I will assign it to zero and then I will need a, another variable average that I will assign to zero as well. So for total variable, it is required to assign zero. Otherwise, it may get any kind of garbage value. So your total may not be calculated exactly. So then what I will do, definitely, you know, I will find, I will say so once I have total zero, then I will reassign total equal to num underscore one plus num underscore two plus num underscore three. These are the three given values. Then it's easy, then ever is equal to total divided by three. So then I will print uh, the average of three numbers equal to average. Alternatively, we can do it in different ways. So for instance, these two lines, these first lines, a same total variable initialization and average variable initialization to zero. Okay, so average variable initialization to is not required in this case, it's optional because when we, you, we are not using pre previously uh, assigned uh, garbage as average value because we are assigning here we are using uh, uh, assigning average equal to total by three so but here if you if i do not assign total equal to zero you may assume you may get a, a garbage value initial garbage value so this is why for total it is required to assign zero but this for average it is not required it's an optional so for instance you can do this to find out the sum uh, okay uh, so by using a for loop or a while loop for instance here if i have three variable three numbers then i will say for i equal to one two three three is inclusive so total equal to total plus num underscore i why i am putting underscore i because this i will be replaced for first time one, second time two, second time third time three, then I will have that means total equal to total plus num underscore one. So the first iteration, second iteration, total will be uh, total uh, will be num underscore one plus num underscore two, and th in third iteration my total will be um, num underscore one plus num underscore two plus num underscore three. So this is why here I will write i underscore i. This, this i will be replaced by this i. 
it is you should remember that if you give something this is this i is the variable name i over here this i is the variable name over here okay so remember it this is why uh, i have to put i so let me make it a different color for instance if in order to highlight it so make give a different i different color so then you will remember uh, it clearly okay so then if i come say i so you have to put i over here then you have to print n4 and then ever is equal to total by 3 and then you can print ever is so this this to this line this line can be replaced by a for loop over here so if you understand this you can uh, do find ever is of any uh, set of numbers or five numbers ten numbers uh, 20 numbers but for large set of numbers we usually use array so in a in another video i will show you how to use array concept in writing pseudocode now if i want to find the maximum value of these uh, three numbers let me, let me highlight it uh, so i in different colors so that you understand it that i is a variable over here okay so here so I have my temp max initially I'm putting temp max for me remember that I'm initializing temp max by a very small number this is a negative number so initially uh, for so if you uh, read all negative numbers like like smaller than this so this may this may not be sufficient in that case you may be put your temp variable uh, like for instance uh, uh, smaller than this for instance like this for instance but for now let us think that we are uh, we will um, uh, in input like very read very small numbers few more small numbers okay mm. so now what I'm doing here so I'm doing a loop over here for and then so this is temp max I can give any name of this variable but temp max temporary max is fine for me then for here uh, for i equal to one two three so if i see my num i that is my first value num underscore i that means for i equal to one if i see my num one is greater than temp max is greater than this value this value is greater than this then i will put this temp max equal to this num underscore i that means num one I will reassign this that means if I have a set of numbers for instance if I have a set of numbers uh, yeah, let me draw a box over here if I have a set of numbers like uh, 5 negative 20 and then 40 so if I see that my first number 3 3 is greater than these numbers then I will reassign my temp max equal to this 3 okay this part after the by the end of first iteration then in my second iteration i will be two and then i will check whether num two num underscore two that means this number is greater than my temp max then my temp max at this time will be three right so after first iteration my temp max will be three so then at the here in second iteration it will check these two numbers uh, it will check these negative 20 with 3 it will check whether negative 20 is greater than uh, 3 so no it is not here right so then what you will do then it will skip this and then it will go to the third iteration in third iteration it will check if num underscore 3 that means this number whether it is greater than my temp max at after the end of second iteration my temp max was unchanged was what was we found we got in first iteration three so then this time it will check my this number is num underscore three is greater than my temp max temp max is what temp max is three so then it will make temp max equal to num three this mean num underscore three that between 40 so then finally it will print temp max then it will print 40 so it will be better so if you do so for this is given numbers so, so like do given uh, numbers if you do this way then after first iteration uh, after uh, uh, 
equation one, equation one, you will see your temp max, temp underscore max will be, but temp max will be three. Okay, so do like this way. Then after uh, your second iteration two, your temp max will be. Oh, sorry, this is three. And since three, right? And then after iteration three, after iteration three. Iteration 3, your temp max will be 40. So try, try to uh, understand this and it will be easy. Like a uh, hmm, given number set, if you have given number set this, okay, then try to write it down using a pen or pencil and then with numerous this way. So after your first iteration, what, what are you getting? Uh, your temp iteration, temp max, and then Okay, so try to write down this way and then you will get uh, the exact value, then you will understand it. Okay, so now let us demonstrate uh, this something how to find mean, uh, find to find mean numbers of a set of even numbers. For instance, let us think so we have given, uh, given this set of numbers. So let us commit later. So for instance, we are given the same set of numbers or any set any set of numbers num underscore one, num two, underscore two, num underscore three. Then in order to find minimum of this number, for instance, here in order to find temp minimum, I can put any any kind of name. Not name is not required for me to put in temp mean or uh, I can put even temp or temp mean any any value any um, variable name over here no problem so okay so so in order to find minimum number you have to put you should initialize your temp with a large number with a positive number you remember that while we are finding maximum number then we initialize our temporary variable as a by a smaller number expected more smallest number from my set and for alter in reverse order in order to find the minimum number we will assign to our temp variable with a larger number so now let us do three water iteration why do we need three iterations because we have three numbers over here if i would have five numbers then i do five iterations okay and then uh, say so num i and definitely so I'm highlighting over here so initially for uh, in iteration one it will check num underscore one if it's, it's reverse order so it is less than my temp value so then actually which i should put same uh, if i put temp over here so then i should lower this temp okay temp is lower case so use the same thing same value is better then in my first iteration now let us bring uh, bring uh, the character set over here so given number set is for instance this I, my, after my first iteration my temp will be okay so let's see what will have so after my initially i have my temp equal to 999 in it up in before like before iteration um, before iteration one, I have temp equal to nine 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 nine, right? Okay, so after iteration one, so my, I will check three whether three is less than nine 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 nine. Yes, so then I will get three after iteration where I will get temp equal to three for iteration one. Then in the second iteration, okay. I will check this number num underscore two, my second number negative twenty, whether this negative twenty is less than temp. What is temp after first iteration three, right? Yes, at this point my negative twenty is less than negative three, so my temp will be at this time negative twenty. Negative twenty. So then after that so after th well, I come to third iteration at the point of third iteration i will check num underscore three that means uh, number three 
whether this number 340 is less than my temp what is my temp what is my temp after second iteration after uh, iteration 2 my temp is 40 right so then what is here that will be here think about a second so then is since my num3 is not less than uh, temp that means 40 is not less than negative 20 so that means this will be unsensed temp will be unsensed then temp still temp will be negative 20 and then it will print temp that means temp it will print negative 20 so please try to so in order to understand this uh, kind of uh, uh, pseudocode or algorithm try to demonstrate it with a set of concrete numbers and then you <laughs> had so that as I stated over here so as I explained here for finding maximum number you will at initialize your temporary variable with a um, minimum number smaller number but alternatively when you uh, find out uh, a minimum number then you will you will uh, initialize your temp with a uh, larger number or positive number okay so this is how this is how it um, it uh, it works so definitely you can give any name of your variable what you want you can put temp underscore mean then if you put temp underscore mean then definitely temp underscore mean then everywhere you will put temp underscore mean here temp underscore uh, mean and then temp underscore mean here and you will put temp underscore mean and you will have temp underscore mean okay okay over here and everywhere temp underscore mean everywhere temp underscore mean okay so variable how do we name your variable is up to you but you have to be consistent uh, by naming your variable you can do so i think this will help so if you understand these uh, uh, three very short uh, Procedure pseudocodes writing algorithm and in, in using pseudocode, then I think you can do uh, for other uh, any set of you know, numbers. So please watch this video and then if you like this video, then please subscribe it and like it and share it. But if you need any help, so uh, please uh, yeah, write a comment. Yes. As I mentioned, I am putting all of this my uh, pseudocode types video here on this my uh, CSI D8 expert YouTube channels uh, algorithms and pseudocodes uh, on this uh, playlist. So please watch this video. Thank you so much.